Before moving your Facebook account to a new Meta account, I do want to mention that the following process did work seamlessly for me, but has caused issues for other people and even leading to some people not having access to their games. Hopefully Meta is fixing these issues now since it just launched, but I did want to put that disclaimer out there. And make sure your headset is updated to the latest firmware, and as of this recording, that would be version 43. Okay, here we go. Here's how to remove your Facebook account from your Quest and set up your new Meta account. To make this super easy in your current browser, go ahead and sign into the Facebook account you use for your Quest every day. After signing in, head over to meta.com slash setup. You will then be asked to log in with your current Facebook account, so go ahead and click continue with Facebook. Then either sign into your Facebook or like me, if you're already signed in, click continue again and begin the Meta separation. To move your existing VR apps and info tied to your current Quest account to the new Meta account, go ahead and click Next. This step here is the critical one, click Continue without Facebook, and you'll finally be free, maybe. Probably not though. Next, you're going to be asked for a confirmation code that will be sent to your email, so you can create a new password for your Meta account. Find that code in your email and type it in, and then create your new Meta password. Next, you'll see your information, some of it being pulled from your prior Facebook account that was connected to your Quest and will be used for your new Meta account. From here, go ahead and click Finish Account Setup. The wheels will turn and the Facebook divorce will happen and then you'll be prompted to set up your Horizon profile. Click Next and you'll then choose your public facing Horizon profile name and it doesn't have to be your Facebook name anymore. Then you can check your friends list to see who you follow and you can choose to unfollow them here if you'd like. Click Next and choose your privacy settings from Open to All, Just Friends and Family, or Go Han Solo. Once you make your choice, don't click that Finish button because we need to connect your headset to your new Meta account. Click that Device Code hyperlink that's under Thanks for Completing Setup. It will open a page inside Facebook and then click Follow Link. Now jump into your Quest headset and you should see a web page pop up with a code that looks like this. Notice that blue bar on the bottom, that code has a timer on it so don't dilly dally too much here. Memorize that code and remove your headset, then type the code into the box and click connect your device. You'll get that beautiful green checkbox with the device connected prompt, slip back into your Quest headset and soon after your headset will restart and the process is complete. From now on you'll sign into your Quest just like on any other website with an email and a password. Side note, you can do this on mobile just as easily as well. Thanks for watching, let me know how the process goes for you and if I can help, throw a comment down below. I'll catch you in the next quickie. Bye!